Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki LaRose, and if you're new here, I'm a celebrity makeup artist based in Los Angeles. And for today's video, I'm really excited because I just wanna sit down and share some of my current makeup must-haves and some personal must-haves. So let's get right into it. So this first item on my must-have list is not a makeup-related item. It's actually a very personal item for me. It's from Nutrafol. Nutrafol I've been taking for several months now, and they were actually kind enough to partner with me on this video, and I'm super excited about it because you may have heard me mention in passing my struggles with hair shedding. I've had lots and lots of hair shedding for the past several years now, and it's been a really big issue for me. If you know me personally, you know that I live a very like fast-paced life, and I also live a very stressful life at times, and from what I've heard and what I've read, stress can lead to so many different health issues, including hair thinning and hair shedding. What I liked about it is it's clinically proven to target the root causes of hair loss, whether it is stress, aging, uh, nutrition, so many different factors can go into why your hair is shedding and thinning. Since I've been consistent with Nutrafol, I have seen such a decrease in my hair shedding, which makes me so happy. There's nothing worse than when you're in the shower and you're just pulling out strand after strand after strand of your hair and it's clogging up your sink. So I've noticed a huge difference in that. And I also just noticed an overall improvement on my hair thickness. At one point when my hair was at its worst, I actually got so exhausted with the whole thing and just tired of wearing hair extensions. It was really depressing to me, to be honest. And I decided to just cut all my hair off just to make it feel like it was thicker. And mentally that was great. It was super liberating just to cut my hair off. I'll even insert a picture just so you can see what I'm talking about in case you are new to following me. I believe I only posted on Instagram, but here's a picture of my bob. And from there on, I took my hair regrowth journey super seriously and I tried so many things, but so many things just didn't work and it was frustrating to spend money after money on things that just didn't help my hair journey. So big thank you again to Nutrafol for partnering with me on this video. I'm just so excited to bring you something that I have seen such great results with. So if you wanna join me on this hair growth journey, you could click the link that's in the description box. You'll get $50 off your first three months of Nutrafol or you can get $106 off your six month supply of Nutrafol. So this next item I purchased because I was really needing a new good one. I got it off of Amazon, it's a tripod. So. If you are a content creator, or if you just like to film your makeup looks, or if you just like to film things in general, whatever you need, you could film whatever you want with this tripod. This tripod, it may look a little crazy, <laughs> but you can extend it to be super tall. So you pull out the length and then you just kind of position the legs. And it also has this cute little remote, which I never use to be honest, but it's there if I need it if I want to. It has Bluetooth, so you connect it to your phone and then you could hit, you know, record from your phone from like further away, obviously, without having to actually touch your phone because your phone in theory is gonna be on top of this thing. So I use this now to film all of my, my YouTube lives. I use it to film when I'm like on the road or if I'm traveling with clients and I'm in a hotel room and if I'm filming content on the go, it's great. I'll also just set it up to film like clients and stuff like that. So it's just been a great, Great, solid, sturdy tripod for me. The one that I was using before, I, I won't even show you, I'm so embarrassed by how like bad it was. It was just in poor shape. It barely stood up. It was always tipping over and always crooked. So this is a huge improvement. It was a very good deal. It's an Amazon tripod. So I'll make sure it's linked, of course, in the description box. But this has been a personal favorite that I just, I had to share it, I really did. While we're on a personal note, let's just keep going with the personal favorites and must-haves of mine. This one's another like kind of random favorite and I thought it'd be fun to include some more personal things on my channel other than makeup. These are my pink Birkenstocks. And you know, my husband's not the biggest fan of these, <laughs> but he puts up with them because he's a really good sport and he still says they look cute in them, which is really sweet, even though I know he doesn't mean it. I know he does not like these. I love them. They're so comfortable. I wear these to work. I wear these when I'm running errands. I wear them anytime. I wear them with socks. They're so cute. I love these so much. So I have like a small Birkenstock collection at this point, but these are by far, by far my favorite. The hot pink. I always get compliments. So I just had to include these, you know, it's just fun. It's fun to include personal favorites and items that are just not makeup. I, I just, it's fun to share those things, right? So another personal favorite item is something that's new from Naturium. It's my friend Susan Yara's brand. It's the Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Lotion. I use this in preparation of showing my legs off more during the summer. So what I like to use this for is I get it straight out of the shower and I rub it into my knees, my ankles, my elbows, 
the sides of my back, just certain areas, oh, my shoulders, I love it for my shoulders. Certain areas of my skin that just feel a little more rough and they just need some more TLC and some gentle exfoliation. It's a glycolic acid body lotion. So it's gonna gently exfoliate those areas of your skin that just feel like a little rough. I'm a huge fan of liquid exfoliators for both myself to prep my skin to get it nice and smooth, but in a gentle way. And especially in my professional makeup kit, I never go without a liquid exfoliator in my makeup kit, never. It's one of my favorite ways to prep my client's skin. And this works in a similar way where it gently exfoliates your skin. So the last personal kind of random item that I'm gonna share is an Apple phone charger. and the the reason why I wanna share this is because this has really saved me a lot recently. I have been traveling a lot and I wish I had this on a previous travel job. I decided to just fall for this random, I won't even say it's like an off brand that I found on Amazon. It was like a really good deal. It was also really cute where you just kind of pop it in the bottom of your phone. Long story short, that didn't work at all. I think it charged my phone 1% every 30 minutes. So I ended up returning it because it just didn't work at all. And I thought to myself, why? Why didn't I just go and buy the Apple one that I knew was gonna work the best in the first place? And I'll tell you why, because Apple already takes so much of my money that I just try to rebel against them the most I can. And so I was refusing to buy this because of stupid reasons. And then I ended up buying it anyway. So here we are, it's the best phone charger that you can get. It's so simple, you can use your phone the whole time. It just clicks onto the back of your case and then you're done and it charges your phone really quickly. So that's my last personal favorite. Now, let me show you a personal makeup favorite. This eyebrow pencil from Patrick Ta. It's the Patrick Ta Major Brow Defining Pencil. I wear the shade Dark Brown and this pencil is just, it's the best brow pencil money can buy you. It's just, it's so good. It's replaced my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm sorry, I never thought in a million years I would ever stop buying my brow whiz from Anastasia, but I have, and it's this. This has such a fine, well, it also has a great brush on the end, but it has a very super fine tip, like where you can actually draw very thin hair-like strokes into your brows. It looks very natural depending on like how you apply it, but you can also really fill your brows in. I have oily skin, but my brows especially get so shiny throughout the day. And if I don't have a good long wearing brow pencil on my brows or a brow powder, they're just gonna start sliding and they're gonna get super shiny. And I just, I really don't personally like that look for myself. I don't like shiny eyebrows. This is phenomenal. So it's been a personal favorite. I'm on my third one of these and that says so much. On to my next personal makeup favorite. This is the new one from Fenty Beauty. You probably have seen me use this a dozen times, at least now on my social media, like Instagram, my TikTok. I post reels using this all the time. It's the hella thick, Mascara from Fenty Beauty. Every time I wear this, people are like, whoa, do you have false eyelashes on? Do you have individuals on? What is it? Is that, are those really your lashes? Because they look super thick, super dramatic, tons of length. It's a nice jet black formula, which I love. And it's only 18 or $19, which I think for a higher end mascara is a really reasonable price. So I love that. Cause I actually don't like spending a lot of money on my mascaras cause I go through them so quickly. This is totally worth your money to check out. So Fenty Beauty, hella thick. This is by far my newest favorite mascara. I have a few more personal favorite makeup items that I just can't stop wearing. The people that know me personally and that see me on a regular basis will laugh when they see this because I wear this so often. And I've gotten so many of my friends and colleagues, I've talked them into buying this and they love it just as much. It's the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I wear the shade Light Medium. This is so good. If you have dark circles or if you just wanna brighten your appearance and brighten your under eyes. If you are lacking sleep and you want to just look more well-rested, this is so good. You may have seen my gigantic Sephora blush haul where I purchased every single blush in Sephora that was sold in store in Sephora. One of my favorites that I keep going back to and I keep wearing all the time. I did mention this also in my top 10 roundup of what my favorites were from that whole haul. It's the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin in the shade Rose and Brunch. I just love it. It's a beautiful finish. It has a beautiful color as well but it's just easy. It goes on, it's not patchy. It goes on nice and smooth. It stays put all day. It just kind of checks all the boxes for me. And it's one that I've been grabbing for myself personally so often. Now onto a tinted moisturizer that I love. And I actually, I kind of rarely like tinted moisturizers. If I'm being really honest, I'm more of a foundation girl. I love my satin foundations. I love my glowy foundations. You know, I love my Armani Luminous Silk. I don't really go for tinted moisturizers often. So it's gotta be a really good one. I'm, Cause I'm just not, I'm not huge on that. Like I'm a makeup girl, I love makeup. So 
This actually surprised me. I picked this up because I just was feeling like I should try some new products that are on the market. This was talked about a lot. And it's a Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum. It's an SPF 30, which is actually pretty good for a tinted moisturizer. Even with that said, I still always wear my sunscreen underneath and I just use this as an over top layer. But this gives me really beautiful coverage, like beautiful coverage. But the other thing that I love is it gives me a glowy finish, but it doesn't slip and slide and move around on my face while I'm wearing it because I have more oily skin. And on top of it, I wear a ton of products like as far as skincare products underneath my makeup at all times and also including sunscreen so usually by the time that i get to like my foundation or a tinted moisturizer it really doesn't have much of a chance of staying put unless i were to put a primer underneath which you know i don't love that layer on top of my skin personally so you know i usually skip that this doesn't need it it stays put so well and it just it feels nice i can't say enough good things about it, to be honest i wear the shade pch which isn't the best match for me but i make it work and yeah, I'm just really surprised. I think this is a really great tinted moisturizer. Highly recommend it. Last but not least on this journey of some of my personal current must-haves and makeup must-haves, probably have noticed that I use this palette a lot for some fun makeup looks. This palette does not disappoint. I am so happy and so surprised that I have gotten so much use out of this palette. I picked this up when it was on sale for only $50 and it was such a good deal, such a good deal. This is the Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana palette. This is like, this is such a great deal when you think about how expensive the mothership palettes are, like the five, six, whatever, the three, four. So those are all $128 retail price. This was 85 before the sale. Like I said, I got it on sale, which was an even better deal. But even if it's not on sale, 85 is pretty good for some top notch, Pat McGrath formulas. Pat McGrath has some incredible formulas. They're some of the best that are on the market that money can buy you. They're outrageously expensive. I totally get it, but this one is a really good deal. So I think if you can pick this up, especially if you're doing like some glam looks or some like fun, like vibrant color looks, or even just like some neutrals are in here too, this palette kind of has it all. It really does. It's been a great addition to my gigantic makeup collection. And I never would have thought that I was missing colors until I got this. And I realized I really was missing some fun eyeshadows. So. This is my last current must have. I pretty much wanna make makeup looks out of this palette constantly when I'm filming content for you all. So it's really hard for me to not do it and to try new palettes because I wanna just grab this every single time. It's that beautiful. But that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. These are all my current makeup must haves and personal must haves. I hope you enjoyed the personal part of this video. I had a lot of fun sharing those personal items with you all. So leave me a comment. And if you wanna see more videos like this where I share my favorites, you can click on this one right here and I'll see you all soon. Bye. I still think she should have mentioned the House Labs one.